I'm going to be going over the Smarty Client Document Manager Groups add-on, which allows you to share files and folders with other users on your website. So first we want to activate the plugin. This enables all the features for groups. Next, let's create a user just for testing purposes here. Okay, now we have and now we want to create a couple folders. Once you create a folder, you can go back in and assign users to it. Uh, you can assign groups, which are the native groups built into the plugin. Uh, you can assign rules and you can assign BuddyPress groups if you have BuddyPress activated. So I created this test folder uh, which we can see on the front end here and this folder is only viewable to admin right now. So let's log in with our new user we've created. And you can see there are no files or folders here. If we go into our back end and add Bob to this folder save it. You can now see that Bob is assigned to this folder. So they can both view this folder. Um, uh, Bob can delete files, add files, modify files uh, because we set pull permissions within the settings. So if we wanted to only give read permissions we can uncheck these checkboxes here and refresh and you can see he can only view files now you can't add a file in that folder you can't remove files let's go ahead and add a file this is the admin adding a file who owns the folder so they have full permissions and there's the file. Refresh it on Bob's side and you can see the file here. Um, you can preview it. You can view revisions. Um, you just can't delete the file. Now if we went ahead and gave full permissions again you can go ahead and delete the file. So that's how you add an individual user to a folder. Uh, if you wanted to add multiple people to a folder without going through every single folder and adding that person to that folder, you can utilize the groups function. Uh, let's go ahead and remove Bob here. So Bob should be gone. Yep, there's no users attached to this anymore. And you can see there's no files here. So click on groups and add a group. Once you add a group, you can add users to groups. So we'll add Bob to this group. And once we do that, we can go back to folders, modify and you can see the group show up right here. So let's add the test group here. Save. Refresh and you can see the folder here. So now in the future all you have to do is add users to this group and that user will have access to this folder in any other folder that you give access to the group. This is an easier way to manage it uh, so, so you're not going through and adding multiple users to each folder. Uh, you can do it right through this control panel. So 
So let's remove this group from this folder. And Bob is no longer a user. Uh, another feature is you can use WordPress roles. Um, Bob is a subscriber. So if we add the role subscriber to this folder, then we can see this folder again. And anybody else who's a subscriber will also see that role, that folder. And again, you, you have uh, permissions. You have read, write, and delete permissions. Read, you can view the file. Write, you can add files. And delete, you can remove the file. If you're using BuddyPress and you want to integrate your BuddyPress groups into our plugin, you can do that as well. Let's remove subscriber, which is now gone. Let's go ahead and activate BuddyPress. And we have a test group here, just admin. added Bob to that group and if we go back to folders you can see the buddy press group here and this is shared the same exact way and there's the test folder One of the newest features is the front end permission manager. If you're a folder owner, click on your folder and you'll notice this permissions button up here. Click on the button and from here you can invite new users to your folder. Uh, you can manage permissions um, and you can remove users from your folder. So let's invite somebody here. I'll, I'll invite myself. So since I'm not currently a user, it's going to dis dispatch an email inviting me to this folder. And it's also going to give me a login with a username and password. And here's the email. Um, this email is customizable in the admin panel you can change any of this information uh, if you're an existing user of the system uh, you, instead of receiving login you'll receive a reset password if you need that so since I'm already logged in I'll just copy this link and open up a new browser Then I'm redirected right to my folder where I can view if I have permissions to upload. I can upload here. Um, but yeah, this just manages your permission. This just gives you a quick way to manage permissions on the front. End. So going back to my folder owner, uh, you can then give full permissions to this user. And then you can go ahead and add files, delete files, since we have full permissions. And we can go ahead and remove this user altogether. Save. And the user is gone. And uh, once we refresh here, you notice the folder is gone. Now, once you add the user back, the user won't receive the password because they're already going to be a, a member of the website.
so the user was added back in. And I was reinvited. And instead of getting a login, we got a um, reset password link here, and again, a link to the folder. So, remove the user. User's gone. And that's it. Um, this is actually an optional feature, so you can disable this altogether if you don't want your folder owners to manage permissions. Um, and you can do that right in the disable feature setting. So we're giving you four ways to share your files with groups that are native to the plugin, uh, with roles uh, you can share with specific people, and buddy press groups. So with all these permissions, you should be able to utilize this plugin to share whatever you need. Also, when, when you're a member of a group and you have notifications turned on, you'll get a no notification anytime somebody adds a file to that folder. This also works with our text messaging plugin, um, which uses Twilio or Clivio and allows you to send text message alerts when a file is uploaded. And that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to submit a ticket or give us a call. You can find our phone number right on our website. Um, submit a contact form, tweet us. There's a bunch of different ways to contact us. Um, if you're interested in purchasing the plugin, that can be found under add ons. And scroll down to the advanced groups. And you can add it to your cart right here.